because of somebody having an issue. But now we're live. Uh, well, we're not live. We're waiting for the Go TV to catch up. But the game is live. Somebody was paused uh, because they had, they were having a little bit of issues. So once our Go TV catches up, we'll be live in this Edge Gamers versus Unworld on Cobblestone. And here we go. I'm excited, man. Yeah. So, Roster rundown really quick on Edge Gamers. We have Logic, Infohip, Mello, Randy Savage, and TJ and over on Underworld. We have Foon, Sloth, in a box, which is the greatest name ever. Diamante, X Breacher, and Krazzy. We're going to be seeing pretty typical buys. Looks like almost everybody got armor. We did see a Deagle go into the hand of Krazzy from Diamante. Um, on EGO side, Infohip picking up a smoke and a kit. But other than that, just running basic pistols. And I thought that uh, Underworld was going to just rush out into B here. But they they actually stopped. And, and oh, you know what's funny? It's Infohip and Mellow are right behind them. They know what's happening right now. They know exactly what's happening. This is what and I here like. they go. They're executing onto the B bomb site. Shots coming out. And Mello and Infohip are running in from behind. Savage is going to pick up two kills with the USPS. Logic's going to find a kill of his own, and it's all down to X Breacher as TJ finds a headshot. And Mello actually coming in with a knife there, getting a little bit of extra cash into uh, X Breacher there. So a nice round for Edge Gamers. They, they pushed, they were aggressive, and they knew exactly what was happening. Yeah, that's that's called research right there. You know, they they watch the team and they're like, "All right, they're going to do this." So, they were just they were prepared for it and round really swiftly went to Edge Gamers. That knife helped with the economy a lot and we're going to see an M4 actually come out second round. He's not even worried. He's just like, that, "You know, I'll I'll take an M4 second round. I ain't, I ain't scared." Yeah, yeah, no doubt. And already kill, uh, the kills are coming in. Melo is actually playing pretty aggressively, pushing through, getting Foon down. Bomb is going to be down. By over by Z. Mello's still pushing up. He's playing extremely aggressive. He's going to meet a player right now. That's going to be Diamante who drops him with a wreck nine to the head. Infohip is all the way pushed back near T spawn. And uh, he's going to go ahead and back off here, which is a smart thing to do. And the bomb is still being set up to go to B, it looks like, as they're kind of just looking for picks right now. TJ and Logic are also uh, pushed up slightly. Yeah, so Edge kind of tried to go for a quick push there, and then they were like, hey, we probably shouldn't go for a quick push because they just took a gun off of us. Logic with a really nice headshot, um, one dig onto Krazzy right there at B-Long. I think that's going to kind of deter them from going that way. Oh my goodness, Logic again with the one dig into Diamante. TJ picking up a kill of his own, and it's all down to X Breacher one last time. TJ is going to come up and find him with a nice shotgun to the head, and that's going to be another point to Edge Gamers. Yeah, Edge, they, they did. They, they started rushing. They were like, oh, crap, we better not give up guns and lose this perfectly easy round. They took a step back. They waited, and it paid off. They got an a, a easy second round there. Going to force uh, Underworld here to full save. No armor, no pistols, nothing. They're just going to try to get the bomb down to the best of their ability. Heading into the third round here on Cobblestone. Edge Gamers up two rounds in these pistol rounds. And uh, we got a couple of Famasas out. Logic sticking with the Deagle there. He uh, he has a lot of faith in the Deagle. And look at this. They only sent two over to B this time and stick three on A. And Hippo and Mello are going to go ahead and drop some players right now. Breacher is going to answer back taking down Hippo. But Mello is going to clean up finding some more kills. It's Foon the only one left. And with a wreck nine, he's going to get dropped by TJ. Yeah, they, they lined up for Mello there at long. He didn't even have to take his finger off the left mouse button it was just bullets and death <laughs> it was just bullets and death bullets and death so uh very quick uh three rounds here for edge gamers on the board underworld is going to go ahead and finally be able to buy up they only have two kills total over on the underworld team as we head into this fourth round if you take a quick look at the uh, the scoreboard, it actually goes five four three two one for Edge Gamers right now, <laughs> with Mellow topping out that list of five kills. It's a little little tidbit of information. That's a little little funny thing. Yeah, uh, we are gonna see quite a few nades coming out here on that this buy. No ops, nothing cheeky like that. A couple of bullets fired in drop. Try to get an entry. Not looking too hot. He actually takes damage, so they're gonna play in a little bit slower. Try to find. Edge gamers pushing somewhere, maybe get a pick. I don't know. TJG is still on the auto shoddy, so we're gonna see what what ends up. He's happening just with he's just yellowing shoddy. it up right now, my friend. 
Logic with the op route right right now on the f uh, fourth round. Gonna see what he can do again. TJ with that auto shot, he has faith in it, but he also has a rec nine, so that's gonna help him out quite a bit. As we head into this round, still a very slow round, only 40 seconds left, and they're gonna go ahead and start rotate rotating towards A. And uh, the CT or edge gamers are gonna go ahead and see this. They're gonna rotate a few players, leaving Logic at B. And it's going to be on. Melo is going to find one with a nice headshot. Finds a second, but gets dropped by Diamante. Info Hipper answers right back. Finds another kill from Savage. And it's all down to Foon. Last player alive against four edge gamers. Hippo down to 9 HP. Foon here. Probably just going to try his best to save. Like <laughs> He's like, man, I got this AK. The only, There's only one on EGO lit. If that... Can that information was even communicated to him. He's not at all in a position to try to go for anything here. Absolutely not. Saves that AK as we head on to the fifth round with uh, Edge Gamers taking all four so far. Yeah, Melo doing an absolutely terrific job right now. Seven and two, leading the scoreboard for Edge. We're still only seeing three kills total on Underworld side. They're going to have to pick up those frags if they want a chance to take this game from Edge. So go, we are, go, go ahead. Oh, I said we are going to see uh, a force buy here around that AK. Uh, P90, MAC-10, Galil's not a terribly comfortable buy. And not a buy I'm quite sure that I would have called myself. But that's why you trust your in-game leader. Because who knows, maybe they'll take this round. They are going to start off with a pick on Demello. Great job by Sloth in the box there. Definitely, yeah. Info Hibba answers right back. But then it gets taken down by Breacher. It's down to a three on four. However, three players of Underworld are down to 12 HP apiece. Foon at 11. So it's going to be an easy time. And <laughs> their main player with 100 HP gets taken down. So these uh, these last couple players will be easy pickings. Uh, Savage picking up two kills there at the end. And that's going to be another round for Edge Gamers. However, Underworld did uh, was able to pick down a few players. Doing a little bit of economic damage to him. Yeah, TJ's sitting there with over 12,000 right now, still holding on to that auto shotty. He does, yeah, he likes that auto shotty. He does not care at this point. He's just building that economy for the team in case one of the rounds does go down. But the main issue we're seeing from Underworld here is they, they, they got picks that round, but they did absolutely nothing with them. So, so I think going, they're going to have... Oh, sorry, yeah. go ahead. No, yeah, yeah, definitely going into this next round. They're just going to rush out, and Savage is going to nade him down. And that was a quick round. Nay takes out three, a shotty to a face, and then get one gets burned. And that's just that's a that's a rip right there. That's a rest in pepperonis. That was one of the quickest rounds I've ever seen in Counter Strike. And that will show you just how deadly nades can be if you don't have armor. So yeah, be careful around those. So okay. another quick round. Six to zero right now. Edge gamers over underworld. And hashtag Randy Rex in the chat with that nade. Randy boosting himself eight and zero right now. Zero deaths coming from Randy. So only five kills still on Underworld side. They're really gonna have to start getting those picks. Underworld, uh, Diamante with that op, and we've seen Diamante op the past couple that well yesterday, and uh, he he was destroying with that op. So it's good to see that he has picked that up, and let's see what he can do on the offensive side right now. Bomb is going to be in the hands of Foon, and they're playing it very slow and very passively here, which is a little bit smarter than what they've been doing. Although they they just they, they've been playing too aggressively, uh, they need to looks like they're waiting to see and uh, to set these set these plays up. Yeah, Breach is going to go ahead and get a pick onto TJ, who pushed a little bit too far ahead. Diamante kind of sitting back with the op. T side op is a little bit difficult on Cobble, so he's kind of in an awkward place. Doesn't quite know where to go. Again, Underworld not really making anything happen with those picks that they are getting. They're giving time for edge gamers to like rotate and back up the site. I think if they would have called for a push in as soon as they got TJ, they, they would have had a better chance. Now Edge is kind of set up to defend the speed bomb site. We are going to see Randy get a kill onto Krazzy. Yeah, and it's just falling apart here for Underworld. Yeah. All five players are down. Foon's down to 2 HP. Now he's down. And that's going to be another map or excuse me another point for edge gamers yeah again it's underworld just they're they're not they're the in-game leaders just isn't making the calls fast enough and you can tell it because they're getting that pick immediately that call should be like hey we got a pick over here let's start to work this site even if we're not going to go in they still had four players over at a when tj went down so 
I mean, that that's a little bit of an issue there. So they, they need to work on that. We're going to see Foon with the op this time instead of Diamante. Hopefully he can make something work. He will get some damage onto Melo early. Soft the box also having damage. Foon getting taken down to 16. And a bunch of kills coming in. Melo, TJ fighting kills over the own. TJ fighting another kill with that op. It's down to a 5 on 2, 4 on 2 now as uh, Krazzy finds a kill into TJ. Bomb is going to be in the hands of X Breacher as they move slowly towards back to B through Z. So everything, again, is, everything is slowing down. That was very quick, but now things are slowing down. But they're pushing through the smoke. Smoke clears. Krazzy's going to get spotted here any moment by Savage. Here's the shots. No, Savage gets taken down by X Breacher. Had the angle on him. And now they're rushing into B. Flash is coming out. Hippo and Logic are flashed. But that was just a too early of a flash. Somebody's coming up from behind him. That's going to be Mello getting taken down by Krazzy. It's down to a two-on-two. -two. And Krazzy finds another one. Logic answers right back down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Op versus AK. And the bomb is still in the hands of x -Bridger. He does get it down. It's going to be money in their pockets. And Logic with that op. This is a tough situation from him. Close quarters. And they're just playing the ring around he the rosy it. right now. Oh, yeah. He, x Ranger did not see him come up from the side and that logic's gonna get the easy kill easy defuse and that 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 was a little impressive by underworld but unfortunately edge gamers for them is uh it just was able to get the kills as they moved on to the bomb side yeah logic logic wasn't 100 percent sure where he was but then he caught that barrel right as he peeked around fountain he just chased him down it, it was it was sad it was like watching a hunter go after prey that didn't know it was prey <laughs> We are going to see a P90 coming on to Foon. The rest of the team does have AKs. I'm, I'm assuming Foon took that, so he could have nades. So we're going to see mostly full nades coming out from Underworld, and hopefully they can take a round here. I know Cobblestone is, is a little bit CT-sided. Oh, but no. TJ, TJ bringing out the... Uh, oh, God, I'm blanking on the, the gun's Negev. name. I'm the Negev. Yeah, you know that they're they're very confident there. That's just a that's just a kick in the face. It's already down to a five on one. Crazy the last player alive. Hippo's gonna with that op is gonna shut them down, and that's gonna be another round for Edge Gamers. So far, right now, we're seeing two ops and a Negev on on Edge. They don't care anymore. They I think they're just having fun at this point. Their economy can't possibly be hurt. Uh, info, kind of hurting, but I mean, not really. Logic has yeah, Hippo's 15K. been uh, he he's been uh, buying the op and he'll get dropped, so he'll pick up another op and that that'll put a little damage on his um on his economy there. But yeah, like you said, Edge Gamers, they 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 feel extremely confident right now. And I looked in chat and somebody said that uh, CT side was uh, Edge Gamers' worst side on this map. It doesn't look like that at all. Yeah, I, Edge right now. One of their players, 12 and 1, two players with 10 kills each. Uh, two players down on Underworld this round. Diamante and Sloth in a box, both going down early. We will see Breach get a kill onto TJ Jesus. You have down to a 4 on 3. Foon down to 70 HP. Bomb's going to be in the hand of the X Breacher. And Krazy going to find a kill on the Hippo. So it's down to a 3 on 3. 3 on 2 as Melo finds one. And it's down to Breacher and Foon to put a point on the board. Bomb is going to be in the hands of x as they're trying to get on the A bomb site, but they don't know that Bella's coming up from behind. Savage is going to find one kill, and it's all down to x -Breacher. He's getting tagged quite a bit, and Melo's going to come up from behind and shut him down. So, again, just not working out in Underworld's favor. What happens when you get this far into the game, and uh, eventually the economy does shorten itself, like this round, they're probably going to have to save. Uh... You just have that loss bonus, so you pretty much get a buy every round in a row at, at eventually. Of course, your economy will run out at some point, but you get a lot of rounds in a row. You can just buy and not care and just go for it. So, uh, unfortunately, this round they are going to have to save, maybe get a, a surprise point on, but we're just seeing an amazing game from Edge right now. TJ Jesus switching from the Geb over to the Auto Sniper. I, I don't see where he's playing. Oh, he's playing that mid, so nobody's coming A site. <laughs> So Underworld did save, however, Krazy did buy up an AK. We have a couple of Rec 9s and a CZ over there. As we head into the 11th round, Edge Gamers 10, Underworld 0. Melo getting taken down to 17 HP. Pretty slow gameplay there. They smoke and drop down, and that was not a very smart move as Savage is done. They're waiting for them. They will get a kill into Savage. However, they're dropping like flies here. But it's down to a 3 on 2. 3 on 1 as Krazy is the only one left alive. He is on the site. And TJ knows exactly where he is. Hippo with the duelies and Max Payne's is going to go ahead and drop him. And that's going to be another round for Edge Gamers. Yeah, really what it comes down to is Underworld is not getting the shots they need. It, 
sometimes Edge doesn't even have the first shot, and they're, they're still winning. The Underworld really needs to get their aim under control, and they might be able to pull this game back. Right now, though, Edge, oh my gosh, they are just... 14 and 2 to Randy, 13 and 4 to Mello, TJ over there 11 and 3. It's just it's ridiculous. We're going to see a little bit of mid play here. Di Diamante getting a nice pick on the info. And TJ, TJ without all the snipers just laying out waste, but no he he doesn't get another kill. He only gets one. And Foon with a double kill and a Foon or excuse me, uh, uh Mello and I believe that was T uh, or Hippo. So it's down to a 2 on 4. Logic and Randy Savage, the only one left alive, and Diamante's gonna find Randy. It's down to Logic and an op versus three players, and finally Underworld are able to get their first round on the board. Yeah, Foon came up huge that round. Didn't have a single kill until the 12th round there. Got three all in the same round. Huge play by him there. Hopefully that op is gonna stay warmed up, and we're gonna see more of an even score line. Uh, Edge Gamers right now leading 11 to 1. They're also losing their lose bonus there, so their economy is going to be hurting if they don't win this game or this round as well. Definitely. So heading into the 13th round, 11 to 1 your score line, as Edge Gamers was easily able to buy right back up. Heading into this round, Crassy finds TJ with a nice AK headshot down to a 4 on 5 bomb. He's going to be in the hands of Foon. They're making their way on long and mid towards the A-bomb site, and the, the uh, rotation's already happening. But Savage smartly goes back to B. Mello is down there near Sloth in the Box, which, again, is the greatest name ever. Ivo Hip, though, will go ahead and drop him with a nice op shot. Mello flashes, pushes through, and we'll find Diamante, and it's down to a three on four. Really good pot flash there by Mello onto Diamante to get that pick. Well played by him. Crazy throws a flash main trying to get our blind mellow, but uh, it bounces back at him. And Logic with that ob is going to find Breacher, so it's down to a four on two. Foon and Crazy the last alive, and they're going to be making their way back towards B. So I think this is one of the moments where I would save. It'd be like, you know, Foon hit three really good shots the previous round. If we lose this round, our economy is going to be broken. I think we just want to save that op, try to get some exit frags, maybe hurt the huge economy edge gamers has it doesn't really matter at that point we see three ops on edge gamers like their economy just does not care logic is going to get a pick on krazy and i think this is the point where you just save though unfortunately it does not look like boon there with the double kill amazing shots by him now it's going to be mellow and info hip info hip going to take down foon unfortunately they didn't get a save now going into the 14th round their economy is hurting uh, some of them able to buy, others not. It does look like they're just going to go ahead and force up AKs here and force the other players to kind of deal with the situation at hand. By the way, got to give a quick shout out to uh, the people who are behind the scenes helping run this tournament. Uh, a lot of great people. We have Legend producing. We have Medvia, uh, Zero Cool, Mega, all those guys back there uh, doing a lot of work to make this tournament possible. So shout out to them as we head into this 14th round, 12 to 1. Uh, Edge gamers over Underworld right now, so this this is this is really bad for a really tough spot for Underworld here. Breacher with the bomb in hand, TJ with the negev will find one. Hippo finds his own kill, and lots of exchange of fire right now. As uh, it's down to a five on three, bomb is going to be in the hands of Diamante, and uh, Foon will find one on the logic. He has to pick. He's on B, and Underworld or excuse me, Sloth has to return. And get over there quickly, but the bomb bombs down all the way near A, and this is a bad situation for them. Savage is going to get drop, or excuse me, drop sloth, and it's all down to Foon and an AK in a dream right now. Foon versus four, and they are closing in on him fast. And Mello just doesn't even care. Drops Foon, and that's going to be another round for Edge Gamers. Mello here, every single flashbang hits. He does not care. Uh, going into this last round. Underworld just completely broke at this point. Uh, we're probably going to see a 14-1 scoreboard here. They're forcing with Tech Nines, Deagles, whatever they can to, uh, to hopefully scavenge at least a second round on T side. But it looks like it's it's pretty downhill. Or I guess uphill. Yeah, this is the... this is definitely not a good situation for Underworld here, as we go into the last round of the first half. And wow, that Rec 9 actually comes in handy, takes down Hippo, but Mello answering right back, taking down Sloth in the box. Again, the best name ever. And the bomb is going to be in the hands of Foon. Breacher taking down the 26 HP, but does is able to pick up an op. Flash comes out, takes down Mello. 
And uh, TJ, with that Negev is going to find one. Diamante with that op that he picked up will find another, but Logic answers right back. Gets down to a three on two op in the hands of Foon. Foon thinking somebody's going to push it's, here. If you notice, it, it slowed down quite a bit. Yeah, we're going to see some aggression. Foon with an excellent shot on the mellow there. Logic answering it right back with that op shot on to Foon. We're going to see Breacher here, 19 HP, somehow have to save the situation. I don't... Oh, good luck, Breacher. <laughs> yeah, 2 on 1, 19 HP with a Rec 9. I mean, it, it, I guess it's possible, but Savage is about to spot him right now. He does see him. Logic's going to come back from behind, but Savage ends up with an AK shot, and that's going to be a 14-1 scoreline going into the second half. All right. We're going we're gonna to set up part one of the dream right now. Underworld has to take this pistol round. If they don't take this pistol round, we can pretty much say goodbye to them. So no pressure to Underworld, but all the pressure in the world. We believe in you. I'm, I'm glad you do, friend. I'm glad you do. Some Somebody has to. We're going to see typical buys coming down. Again, uh, nothing too fancy coming out from either team. Five armor from both team and a decoy on Randy. We're just yeah, Edge Gamers is just going to rush out onto the B-bomb site, swarm it, and get the kills are coming in. And Hippo finds one, but uh, Foon answers right back. Logic and another kill from Underworld. It's down to a three on three. Bomb is in the hands of Savage. He will be able to get the plant. And Sloth in the box will come out. So Underworld, or excuse me, Krazy Sloth finding kills. And wow, lots of kills coming in. And that's going to be a round towards Underworld. Yep, and part one is accomplished. They won pistol round. Now, uh, Edge Gamers here with such a big advantage as far as rounds go and getting the bomb down. I can't possibly see them not force buying here. So Underworld will get the defusal really quick. Are you lagging as well? Yeah, it must have been a pause. I'm, I'm assuming it's a pause. I was yeah. about to say, shouldn't it have been diffused by now? What's going on? Well, I was hoping my internet wasn't crashing because after yesterday's issues, gosh, uh, can't even. Yeah, I understand that. So uh, I'm assuming we have a pause. Uh, try to get some more information on that really quick. In the meantime, uh, looking at the scoreboard, uh, it's starting to even up a little bit more, considerably more than it was at the beginning of the game. Uh, Underworld starting to step up. We can see some players coming through. Foon, who didn't have a kill until the 13th round, is now second on his team at 8-14. and 14. Uh, Edge Gamers, their score lines all looking positive and good. Uh, pretty much a reflection of the score line right now as they are currently ahead 14-2. to two. Underworld did take pissed around, though, so you never know. Uh, don't let your dreams be dreams, I guess, Underworld. <laughs> All right, so it's apparently a money issue right now. So uh, we're going to see if that can get taken care of quickly. Hopefully it will. What do you mean a money issue? I, I have no idea. All right, okay, neither do I. <laughs> That's so... just what I've been told. It was like, it's a money right. issue, pause. All right. Maybe they're taking a strategic to be like, hey, should we buy rifles here in case they force up? Because I can guarantee you uh, Edge is going to force up here. They're, they're ahead 12 rounds. They don't care. They got a bomb down. They're going to buy. Now Underworld has to make the decision. Do we trust ourselves with SMGs to take care of this uh, force buy here? Or do we want to go ahead and buy FAMASs, maybe P90s instead of like MP7 and stuff like that? So that's probably what the strategic pause is about, if that's what it is. If it's another kind of money issue, I have no idea. Yeah, no, I don't think it's a strategic pause. I think it is like a legitimate money issue. I don't even know how you have that happen. But we'll get it resolved, and we'll get back into the game, and that's all that matters. So, again, shout-out to everybody that is behind the scenes running this, getting this you know, resolved as quickly as possible. A lot going out to them. And, again, uh, hang around for the grand final that is coming after this match. Uh, we'll be giving away the mod mic from uh, Antlion and the headset as well which will be going away to somebody during the grand final. And as well as a, a thousand followers, we will be giving away a $50 steam card. So if we hit a thousand followers today, then be around for that. It'll be fun. Yeah. I'm excited for that. I really am. If we hit the thousand today, cause I mean, I'd love to give out stuff. I'd love yeah, to give it back every time. I mean, all the time you want to give back to the community because the community, you know, is always there to support us. We want to be there to support our community. 
So, uh, yeah, this is this is a thing right now. I what sucks is when you watch the professional tournaments and stuff. They have like a panel of casters and stuff that you can be like, oh, it's a pause. All right, let's go over to the four four dudes over here that can talk for thirty <laughs> minutes. Oh yeah, we're just sitting here like, so how's the uh, how's the weather, buddy? It's actually uh, pretty cold over here where I'm at. It snowed the past couple of days. You were so lucky. Yeah. Uh, well, the heater in my house actually didn't work last night, so it was about 40 Ooh. degrees all night in my house, which unfortunate, but the heater's working now. We're so warm. I want you to realize that we're casting a CS match talking about the weather. Yeah, of course. Well, that's what happens whenever we have technical difficulties and um, don't have anything else to talk about. I guess I could say that if you're interested in Edge Gamers, check us out at edge-gamers.com. Again, thank you guys for tuning in today. My name is Aaron. Joining me is Hoodie. Doing the uh, anal analyst sizing. Yes, that. <laughs> yeah, that word. And uh, producing will be legend for us today. Doing a fantastic job. Making sure the uh, stream looks fantastic and stuff. And stuff, yes. Um, yes. Okay, so I am San Jose. We're seeing a lot of teams that I don't, I didn't expect to do so well, like Team Liquid, really showing up this tournament. I'm, I'm really interested to see what that final is going to be. Yeah, I definitely am too. Give me one second here. Keep talking for me for a minute. All right. Uh, so G2 looking really hot. Okay, it looks like the game is live again. I think that pause is done, and we can get back into the action. Hopefully, uh, we're going to be seeing, looks like, nades. And, yes, yeah, slight SMGs coming out from uh, Underworld. We are going to see an AK go on to Logic here. So, a really, really interesting buy. And... All right. So, we want also, just a really quick shout-out. Edge Gamers, Hell's Gamers, Prestige Gaming, Reflex Gamers, Tingle Worldwide, and Underworld for also participating in this tournament. Thank you guys so much. It's been a uh, fun time casting, you guys. Yeah, I mean, uh, all the communities come together, give us a really great tournament. You know, we've had some really good games. Uh, shout out to all those organizations for being a part of it. So 14 to 2 is your scoreline going into this 17th round here on Cobblestone. Edge Gamers with 14, Underworld with 2, and this is uh, this is not a good situation for uh, for Underworld. Logic finds one with the AK, Foon answering right back though. Melo also finding kill. It's down to a 4 on 3. Bob is going to be in the hands of InfoHip, a.k.a. Hippo, a.k.a. Uh, Snuffleupagus. Which I don't know if he really goes by that. I'm going to call him that, though. So, <laughs> X-Breacher finding a kill into Melo down to a 3-on-3. Three -three. Savage was a, with a nice AK headshot into Foon. And it's down to Breacher and Sloth, who is burning alive right now. TJ is going to get uh, burned, though. But Sloth is the one who, from 100 HP down to 52... I just didn't look over to see TJ also burning alive, so that was a uh, that was a quite a hot situation for them. As X Ranger finds Savage down to a two on one. Hippo's the last one live. All he has is a Glock, and for some reason they're right next to each other. I don't. Okay, know. so I'm gonna try to butt in real quick. Sorry, you were you're really into the moment. The issue no. is actually. Yeah. I was like, what is going on right now? Why are they looking at each other? The issue actually is happening right now. Uh, what happened was. It looked like edge gamers all spawned with like 4k when they lost pistol round. So there's no way they could have had that much money. What they would have been doing is forcing into like tech nines and armor and stuff like that. Instead, some of them had AKs, which made absolutely no sense at all. So it looks like that was what our technical difficulty was. And that's what happened that round. So I don't know if uh, it's going to take a couple minutes for us to get caught up. Uh, and it looks like they're just out. killing themselves too, uh, even not the money, which... Yeah, Should uh, they get things done pretty quickly? I mean, yeah. to be fair, Edge Gamers has been showing pretty dominant force. You know, we're down so many rounds. I don't know. In the future, hopefully, we'll have some better ways to fix this issue. I don't quite know if this is like the official fix or what's happening here. It's just a little bit confusing. We don't really have any information about what's happening, unfortunately. <laughs> right. So yeah, that's that's this is a thing again. This is this is a thing. Uh, back to uh, I am San Jose. G2 has been in excellent form, so I'm I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna see them in the finals against uh, I believe Team Liquid and Navi are playing. So against one of those teams, and you no know, G2 playing super well. I think they might take uh, 
IEM San Jose. So, shout really out to Nitro to from Liquid, who's on my uh, my buddy list. He's a cool guy. Shout out to him. I got to play with Hiko one time. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that dude, I'm jealous. I'm so jealous right now. Yeah, I I didn't do very well. I embarrassed myself in front of him. You know, if we're okay. doing shout outs, let's do this uh, to get some extra brownie points with the audience. Shout out to everybody in the audience because you guys are awesome. Shout out to uh, See, that, this is what you do to make people like you a lot better. You guys are so cool, you know. Just saying. Yeah, shout out to uh, to your parents for for having you, so you can be here watching us. We love you, <laughs> dude. I, I, I wasn't expecting that at all. I mean, I mean, it's what you do to make them like you, right? That, yeah, that's what man. We're trying here. Dude, okay, so yeah, just go tell your parents, like, mom, dad, thanks for having me, because I got to watch this awesome CS match and stuff. It was pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so is this live question mark? I don't know. Well, we'll figure it out. This this uh, game has been kind of a roller coaster. I'm seeing an auto sniper on CT, so who knows? Okay, it's oh. not live. No, definitely not live. <laughs> I, I, we're figuring out something. All right, so while we get this issue, f okay, maybe not. They are restoring the match back up, which is great. Score 14, four, 14 to 4. So, I don't think that was a correct score, though. I uh, It wasn't. The issues started happening after they won pistol round, so we should be reverting back to 14-2. Well, that didn't work. No, it didn't. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to play a little music uh, while we get this figured out. And we'll be back as soon as possible with uh, the Edge Gamers and Underworld match here on edgegamers.tv.
All right, lads, welcome back to the Battle of the Communities. So the issue was, after the uh, first pistol round, they could full buy. Edge Gamers could full buy because they got a lot more money than they were supposed to. So what's going to happen is, well, no, okay, cool. Speaking of the devil, wow. All right, we're 14-1. We're, we're ready to go now. Uh, what they were going to do is just restart the entire match but play like it's 14-1 to uh, just just start out the money. So, But now we are. it looks like we're good. The matches are going to get unpaused, and we should be able to get going here. Hopefully soon. So that's that's the issue, and it looks like uh, we're we're getting ready to go. I don't know why they're killing themselves. They should just restart the round. Cough, cough. But all right. Okay, Underworld gets okay. So they killed themselves to give Underworld the extra round because they did win pistol. Yeah, and so uh, we're gonna see a lot more money on Underworld side because they didn't buy anything last round. So now they're gonna have more money than they would normally have for having one pistol round. So I don't still kind of iffy, but it was the best solution we could come up with. Uh, we thank everybody behind the scenes for coming up with the solution so quickly. Uh, it could have taken a lot longer, so really a lot of thanks to them. We are going to see a normal uh, anti-eco come out. Uh, Edge is going to go ahead and force up here with a couple tech nines. And we're going to see SMGs coming out from the hands of Underworld. And we'll see if they can bring the scoreline back from the 14-2 deficit that it is. Definitely. So, uh... Just waiting for them to unpause the match. Yeah, um, I'm not sure if Underworld has to unpause it or Edge. No, the, the, the admins have to do it uh, via console, so. Oh, they have to look for the command. They're figuring to it unpause? out. To unpause? No, no, I, no, that's not true. That's not true at all. They know the command. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> So, all right, we're hopefully going to get underway. And again, we want to thank you guys so much for tuning in into the Battle of the Community. So this is our second one. We held one last year, and it was super duper awesome because uh, we're super duper awesome. So just want to shout out that. And the match is unpassed. Um, uh, unpassed, I guess. Unpassed. Listen, it is I, had long, I had an extremely long night, okay? It's all right. All right, 14 to 2, your score line. Edge Gamers 14, Underworld 2, round 17. Here we go. Uh oh, Logic has a deagle. Mello getting in Mello. Nice onto Krazy. With that, Rec 9 finds one, Hippo finding another. And Diamante answers right back, taking out two. Logic with a nice deagle headshot into Diamante. It's down to a three on two. Bomb is uh, down on the ground here. And uh, they're not even trying to go for it now. Savage, Randy Savage is finally going to pick it up. Melo with the SMG will take down Breach. And the bomb will get planted. That's going to be money in the pockets of Edge Gamers. And Logic burns to the ground. But that's okay because Logic, before doing that, gets the Deagle headshot. And that's going to be match point for Edge Gamers. Uh, for some reason, TJ is on the CT team. Okay. I, I don't know what's happening. Oh, TJ is going to help them out. All right, so we're going to see. Him oh, play my a God. Six. I'm so confused with what's happening right now. I'm just, I'm just, whatever. I'm speechless. Like, TJ, this is too much for me. All right, so I don't, I don't know if we're paused again. Yeah, it looks like we're paused again. I don't understand what's happening with the server i don't know how he's on the ct team <laughs> looks like he's just trolling which uh i'm sure is just uh it's just so funny to him right now yeah after a long day they're having uh after a long match that is they're having a little bit of fun which is you know understandable it's okay but uh now okay now he's disconnected all right he's coming back okay so now again, another pause coming in. They're just, you know, having a little fun. It's understandable. Just trying to keep the uh, tensions low on each team. Again, this is match point for Edge Gamer. So once he gets back in, and uh, we unpause, which uh, we have done eight seconds left before we start. And again, that was uh, Underworld. Just doesn't seem like they they can stream st uh, string rounds together here, Bane. 
Yeah, they're, hoodie. God, they're, hoodie. <laughs> they're losing some uh, rounds that they shouldn't be losing just because uh, Edge is showing the dominance as far as gunplay goes in this uh, this entire match. Honestly, not even just <laughs> fifteen yep. two. Randy is going to be buying Logic Hi Hippo, Randy again, and TJ all finding kills. And that's going to be GG. Very quick round here to just uh, put this game to an end, put it out of its their misery. And that's going to be 16 to 2, your scoreline here on Cobblestone. And yeah, Edge Gamer taking that, uh, taking that match by storm. Yeah, definitely. It was just dominant the entire time for Edge. Uh, Underworld grabbing two rounds. A lot of issues it looked like was confidence on the T side. It looked like the calling was a little bit hesitant and they couldn't really make up their mind with what to do. And then, you know, when you lose a half that bad, it just kind of carries over. And so they won pistol round, but they just, they didn't have the the motivation there to, to keep on keeping on. So edge will in that scoreline 16 2 really dominant and they will be advanced to the grand final to face off against Tango world in a best of three. Again, tune into the best of three. If you are interested in the giveaway, uh, we'll be giving away a uh, Antlion mod mic as well as a headset by... Uh, who's the headset up by again? Oh, God, not sure. Legend, our producer. Producer, can you uh, chime in here to us in, in our headsets? The uh, the giveaway. Chat the giveaway. Final. Super Luxe. Super Lux, yes. So you get a Super Lux headphone and a Antlion Mod Mic 4.0. Yes, and, That's, again, and all you have to do is just be here and like, follow the stream. That's literally all you have to do. That and if you're following the stream and we hit a thousand followers, then we're also giving away a fifty dollars Steam card today. If we hit a thousand followers today, so you won't want to miss that either. Uh, next game is actually going to be the uh, third place game that will be between underworld and prestige gaming they will be facing off for third place again third place unfortunately no prize second place no prize but they will be playing for the the dignity of of achieving third place here at battle of the community too again really stoked to be here it's been a great tournament so far edge unfortunately that last game making swift of it <laughs> unfortunately underworld will be going to that uh Third place game. Hoodie, your food's ready. Go get it. Lucky. I I know. I'm I'm pretty hungry. Go get your hot pockets. All right, they're so not, we're gonna take a break pockets. real quick. We'll be back with the next match here on the Twitch. Edge Gamers Twitch 3:30. 3:30. We'll be back at 3:30 Eastern time uh, for the next match. So we'll be back. Love you guys. Long time. Stick around. <laughs> 